now we are finally ready to move on to the collection list. You've got everything looking the way that you want it and we're ready to kind of bring this site to life. There are a bunch of collection lists that came with this template, which is another really great reason to start with it because a lot of the heavy lifting has been done for you. So on the right, again, I have what comes with the template. Let's get rid of Weblow University. So this is what comes with the template. You can see we stop here at platforms text. These are all great fields and we're going to keep all of them. And as you can see, I have added a few more fields. So I added just three more fields and those are just going to help us as we build out some of our automations to tie everything together so that comments can automatically populate where they're supposed to as well as submitted products this will really help us for our members who are logged in to be able to visualize their products they're submitting and the comments to be linked with the products let's walk through a couple of changes that we need to make so the first thing is with votes we need to come into this field and it says it's required. This is a little bit of a problem when we're having folks submit a new product. There aren't gonna be any votes. So we'll set that up in our automation to be zero, but let's go ahead and unlink that. That way we don't have any kind of issue there. So go ahead and hit save field. And then we're gonna come down and go to sort order. Sort order is also a required field. This isn't gonna be helpful when it comes to automations, so we're gonna uncheck that as well. Go ahead and hit save field. From here, all of these categories are going to stay, and then we're just gonna add in a few more. So we're gonna add a field, and we're gonna do plain text product ID. Now, this product ID is going to be the collection list ID. We need this to tie everything together and it's kind of that unique identifier that will help us visualize our products in different spots on the website. So we'll just call this product ID field and go ahead and hit save text. Be sure that you're using plain text so that the automations work easily. Next, we're gonna set up a product comments exist. This is an optional field, but I think it's kind of helpful. It does require an extra step in Zapier. So if you don't want to have more than a two step zap, you can go ahead and omit it, but I kind of like it. So we're going to say product comments exist and then turn on in Zapier, Zapier or Integromat, N-A-N etc. Any automation tool that you're using. Go ahead and hit save field. And the last one is a reference field to member ID. Now, before we set that up in here, we need to have members because it's going to tell us this doesn't exist. So go ahead and hit save collection because we're done for now. The other thing you can do, let me pull this all over for you. So the other thing you can do in here, if you don't want any of this data to start with, is select it all and delete it out. That'll give you a clean slate um, for your products and what you're building. So you just need to select all and hit delete. Uh, I would recommend that you have everything set up and working before you do that. It's really helpful to build this template using the data that's in here to help with visualization and be sure that everything is connected. But that's an easy way for you to delete everything out. Once it's deleted out, you can also import. So we'll deselect all. And then if you hit import, you can drag in a CSV file. So this is very convenient if you have your products already listed that you want to import and say you have quite a few, you can do that easily here. Just drag it in and it walks you through the process of matching up all the columns. So now that our products are almost set up, we have that one field to add. We notice we don't have a members collection list. We want to be sure that only members are able to vote. So before we go and set up our voting, we want to ensure we're also setting up our members. So we're going to click create new collection. So we're going to call it members and there's only a few fields we need to add in here. So let's take time and do that now. So as you can see in our members collection, I have added just a few fields here and we're gonna add in just a few more things. So 
You can add in the member name again if you would prefer. It depends on how much member information you're collecting. So if you're doing first name, last name, maybe you want those as separate fields. Uh, you can just leave them as the name and slug. You can you know, rename this to be first name if you would prefer. It really depends on what you are using or collecting from your members as part of your site. So go ahead and add in at least first name, slug, and member ID. Again, this should be a plain text field, member ID. And we're gonna call this member ID from member stack. Now, member stack does have a very nice data attribution that you can use across your website to tie in members to different forms and things. So that's very helpful. And I'll go through that as we build out the form section, but it's important to have it here in Webflow as well. That way we're keeping track of our member ID. So all that information is in one spot and we can help tie it together with their member site so that we're visualizing all the things that they're submitting in one spot. So go ahead and hit save field. And then I've collected email address, so we can go ahead and add that as well. You can call email, email, let's call it member email address, and hit save. Again, if you have more information that you are asking of your members when they sign up, you can certainly put that information here. All of it can be handled in the member staff profile section as well. So really up to you and you can customize as much as you would like. So go ahead and hit create collection. And now this is empty. We're ready. Perfect. Let's move on to our product comments. So as you can see, I created a collection here on the right called product comments. So let's take a minute and create that one as well. So go ahead and hit create new collection. We're going to call this one product comments. We want to create a commenting system for the products that we have on our dashboard. And in order to do that, we have to create our own collection list for it. So just like with the other collection lists, we're going to go through and add a couple of fields. You can call this comment name. This might help you as your data grows <laughs> and go ahead and save that field. Uh, you need the slug and then we're going to add in a bunch of plain text fields that's just gonna help us product name, product ID. And these are plain text again, because it will help us with automations. Member name, member ID, the date of the comment. And again, that's plain text. And then we're going to add in two multi-reference fields. So, well, actually they both can be reference fields. I have products over here as multi-reference, but you're only gonna have one product per comment. So we can go ahead and add them as reference fields. So because we have them both set up, we can grab reference and the first one is products. And then we're gonna come down here and click products and hit save field. And the last one is member ID. So we're gonna go ahead and put member, member ID field here. And then we're gonna go ahead and come on down and link that to our members and hit save field. And actually, you don't need this plain member ID field. Um, it is helpful, I captured it twice. So it's really up to you and depends on which automation series you're using and the setup that you're using. So that's why I've included it. You don't need both of them once you figured out whichever workflow works for you. So go ahead and hit create collection. And now we have all of our collection lists ready to go and we are finally ready to add in JetBoost. We're almost ready to add in JetBoost. I forgot to mention one other very important thing. After we had our members collection created, we need to come back to products and add that back in as in a reference field. So just come on over to reference field, type in member ID, and go ahead and link that up to your members and hit save. Save collection. 
And now we're ready to move on to create the products template page and the members template page so that we can get all of our design done before we implement JetBoost and MemberStack. Let's go work at those product pages next.